all pro receiver, future Super Bowl champion, because I just, there's nothing stopping this Niners team. Debo Samuel, welcome to the show. Good to see you. I feel like every time you're here, I have a new record to congratulate you on. Do you know that you have a new one? No, I don't. I actually don't, for real. Debo, you were the 12th. Get this. I hope this gets you excited. You're the 12th receiver, 12th in NFL history. NFL history with seven touchdowns in a three-game span. Do you see the legends that are on this list? Note Man. the Hall of Famers. That's a lot of that's a lot of good company right there. Uh yeah, that's just crazy. Um, I ain't know nothing about it or anything along those lines, but but just looking at the names on that list, like it's just crazy company around there. Randy Moss, T.O., Jerry Rice, Sterling. Man. Pretty good. I mean, those are Hall of Famers. That's the goal, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I mean, I think it's foreshadowing. And by the way, so many Niners legends on that, which is amazing. So the most touchdowns, seven in a three-game span. Speaking of those, let's go through them. Your two scores could not have been more different, my friend. Let's take talk me through this first <laughs> one. Let I me mean, you were wide open. I don't get how this happens. Um, what's so crazy? Uh, we watching tape. Why my stuff looks so blurry? But um, but we were watching film all week on you know certain stuff that we can do. And Kyle put this play in, and during the week I'm like, bro, like it's it's wide open in practice. So I'm like in the game, like no way it's gonna be like this wide open. And came around and nobody paid attention, and it, obviously it was wide open, which is crazy. Well, they completely sell out to stop the run, um, even with CMC out of the game. So that's that. And that's what happened. And you're just sipping your coffee like it's not, like another day of business here. No big problem here. No one trailing you. The second touchdown is a little more interesting because you were talking about Brock Purdy last week, dot after dot after dot. What would you make of this one? Yeah. Um, here you put the ball only where I can catch it. Um, as you see, it was good coverage. And put the ball on the back shoulder and, you know, as a receiver, you got to play it slow and don't allow the DB know that the ball is being thrown in the back shoulder. And as soon as I turned around, like that was one hell of a ball by Brock. Well, I feel like, you know, he knows he has you one-on-one -on -one before the ball even snapped. And then this play to me was like ultimate trust between you and Brock ultimate chemistry. Yeah. Um, all, all year long in camp and, and stuff like that, we work on the deep balls. And so um, just to see, you know what I'm saying? We hit it, we hitting a few as the year go on. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like I said last week, it's not only are you just covering her in the middle of the field, it's like you gotta cover the whole field now because you never know um what Brock's gonna what Brock's gonna do when you got the ball in his hands. Yeah, we you know we've talked a lot with you about you and that, like, all these records and all this amazingness. We've talked about CMC and Trent and Kittle and Ayuk. Um we haven't given love to to various uh, Mr. Ward. Should we give love to him? Two interceptions against the Cardinals. Come One on being now. first career pick six. He practiced catching balls from Sam Darnold this week to help prepare catching picks. Is that true? Man, that boy do everything possible to turn them PBUs into picks. And we was talking early on in the game. I mean, early on before the game started, bro. And I'm like, yo, like I see, <laughs> I need to see you catch one of these and take it like ninety. And man, when I seen that boy catch that ball, it looked like I was catching the screen and just running behind Trenton and boys, how fast he was running through there. <laughs> it's amazing. I feel like we have, he's like the one person we haven't given love to. I also think that there's all this talent on this team. We can talk Shanahan or whatever. There's something that's going on, whether it's like, obviously you guys have the music and you have the fun. And, and I think Trent is a big part of establishing sort of the fair balance of fun on this team because like it's not like like outside of those Patriots teams I feel like all Super Bowl teams have the perfect injection of like the Eagles dog masks or something that's like carrying them like y'all have all the talent but you haven't won it so you still have the chip on your shoulder it's like the perfect balance of OGs and young feisty players like is it that do you think that's true does it feel that way oh it's so crazy um he was talking about like the mask and the the music and stuff. I just think that's that's just what we do. Um, and like I said to you like a couple of weeks ago, is like, you know, we always been there. We always been right at the door. And like, what is it going to take for us to get over there, huh? And you know, we always had that taste in our mouth, like, bro, like, what is it? What is it? And like, you know, as we as we continue to stack these days, stack these games, stack these wins, we can just we still not playing to our best potential and still leaving stuff out there on the on the field and that's things that neither you know or people out there know it's just like within the building like things that we know we have to work on for us like just little things of 
one block here with Spring Christian free probably like three, four more times, or a block here would have got Brock a little bit more time in the pocket to throw another ball. It's just like little things like that. Who said, is that, okay, but, but do y'all sell, but do y'all really let yourself celebrate the wins and then you dig into this stuff that could improve you? Because that could be, you know, at a certain point, you want the culture, I think, to be, okay, but sure, we could have done a little bit better there, but we we put up 45 points. Like, is that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, Kyle, Kyle is definitely going to celebrate the win, but, you know, at the end of the day, after celebrating, you know, um, after he giving us a speech of long, along the lines of how good we played and this is then the third, he still, he still, you know, lets us know like there's things that still need to be worked on, but we're going to enjoy the win. And when we go and watch tape, like we'll, we'll see and find out what he's been talking about. Yeah. Uh, your two favorite teams played last night, Devo. <laughs> 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 the Seahawks who you have part ownership stake in, uh, sorry. And uh, sorry, Seahawks fans and, and the Eagles, what did you make? What stuck out? What stuck out to you about the game last night? Um, one, uh, I played against Drew Locke in, in college for five years and just seeing the way that he was able to throw the ball in and under pressure, like he he was remaining the same and how poised and calm like he was out there for us, you know, making a throw here, even though like he threw DK a slant um, early in that drive and that was a low ball because he was under a little bit of pressure, but you can tell he got a little frustrated then and then he come back and throw another one. And then you just see an amazing deep ball from Drew Locke to Jackson Smith and Jigla. And that Let's was, see it. That was we the have it. ball. How, how impressive was this? What was more impressive, the track down by JSN or the dime from Drew Locke? As a receiver, that that's that's a hard ball to track right there. And it's raining all hands. Like that's a grab. But also that was a that was a dot by Drew for sure. <laughs> I you're giving love to the Seahawks. That means you you <laughs> up up in a good mood this morning, right? <laughs> that was a good game right there though that was a good game yeah what'd you make of the Eagles side of things that was pretty nice for you guys a little leg up for your team you slept you oh, yeah, didn't it do was, nothing it was, it was you know uh, you know it was good to see them lose of course um but you know as the as the as the show go on like we just got to continue to handle our end do what we've been doing and continue to stack these games and wins and you know we'll be right where we want to be yeah, you, I mean, you make it look easy. You really do. Let's do the Debo download now. These are some things going on, some things on your team, some things around the league that Marissa pulled. Trent Williams, I thought he was your BFF, but he and CMC had their own moment during a post-game presser. Look at this. Robin B. Yeah, I was inviting my boy down on mine. This is Robin Big. Robin Big. <laughs> Just looking for meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you yeah, like stuff like that, like stuff like that. Like you would think, you would never think like Trent have like that sense of humor if you just watch him play the game and you see how joking and all and like all the fun that he had with the team and just stuff like that. I, I think that was really fun. And yeah, Robin Big looking for their meatball. I mean, I, <laughs> were you a little jealous they didn't invite you? No, I had just got done. I had told them to. I said, well, y'all might as well go together, man. Go and get it over with. So we can get on up out of here. Here's what I want. Here's what I want to know. I think people see Trent and he's like out there, like either starting fights or getting in the middle of it. And then there's how prolific he is as one of the best players to ever play the game. And I truly believe that. And he's one of the most important players to that offense. How important is that levity he brings? Because he's just an OG. He's like a made man. He's good. How important is what that we just saw in that clip to the success of this team? Man, you. I mean, if if Trent can have fun, then everybody else think they can have fun. Um, because he's been in a while and his his first time making the playoffs is when he got to this team and he he explained that to us and you can yeah. see like if Trent having fun and like it's a time and place for everything and then everybody else feel like they can do it you know what I'm saying with how good he is. Yeah, I think it's underrated what what he brings to that team as far as personality and letting people be themselves and allowing for some. I, I don't know this because I'm not in there, but what I see from these sort of clips and stuff, I think it's it's really, really important. Okay, let's move on to Mac Hollins. Did you see this? He walked into the rainy pregame tunnel barefoot, okay? Did you see this? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Cal, Cal Pitt's face tell it all. Like, he was looking at him just like, bro, what are you doing? And just shaking <laughs> his head. And he's like, you see how Cal Pitt's like, bro, what's Look going on? Like, I, thought that was, I thought that was crazy. Who's the most likely on your team to do something like this? Uh, nobody. Nobody, not even really. Mm -hmm. I would say no Kittle. I feel like Kittle would be a barefoot nah. guy. Nah, Kittle got yeah, too many pair of shoes to do that. 
Kim is a sneaker okay, lady. Uh, uh, did you? I, I don't know how. I don't know how you're feeling. Can we talk about T. Higgins? Can we go with that? Let's talk about it. He had a crazy catch. You see? Oh yeah, for sure. T. My dog. Okay, good. Like, I don't. I don't know, Debo. Okay, so like this was, just for the like, touchdowns to send the game into overtime. What do you think? Like that is, that is nuts. That like that is insane. Like. Why? For him to catch that ball, I mean, as as we know, T. Higgins got some real good hands, and the way he caught the ball and was able to still reach back with the awareness of where the goal line was, like that that's nuts. Like T, you you snap with that one. Um, what are you ranking this on a scale of one to ten? That's a ten for sure. Is T is T a wide receiver one somewhere next year? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Woo! the way he's the way he's been playing and. I mean, like he's he's been consistent every time he's out there. Um, you know, injuries happen, so I mean, you can't do too much about that. So, um, I think he's been so consistent ever since he, you know, what I'm saying, been in the league and stepped down there, stepped out there, and just been able to provide for his team. All right, Debo, you got a big game to prepare for this week, Christmas Day, at home. By the way, did you do your shopping for Tyshawn yet? No, we've been done with that. You already done? What'd you get him? all the toys that you'll buy to you. <laughs> <laughs> I sounds a lucky kid. I love that. Yeah, uh, well, and his birthday two days after Christmas. Oh, so we got to yeah. double up on everything. I love no, that for him. He's got a dog. He's, I bought him a dog. What kind of, what kind of dog? A uh, Frenchy Fluffy. I, I got him a dog game. Yeah. Can we meet him next week? Uh, Probably, if he's if he's running around somewhere, yeah. What are, what are we naming the dog? Blue. 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 Oh yeah. my gosh. Blue and Tysha. B L U. B L U. Okay. I like it. Um, you guys have this big game. It's right. It's a big, big game. Ravens, right? Yeah. Both white seats. Shoot. This game after y'all don't ever stop. This is crazy. Um, listen, you've only played the Ravens once in your career. Last time you did, we you we know you trolled Lamar with a signature celebration. Let's just get into yeah. it. When I say Lamar Jackson now, what 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 do you think? Man, that man is is playing out this world right now. Um, we're like real talented, strong arm, like can play the game. Like Lamar is a, a Lamar is a guy. Like he's mm -hmm. he he has everything that that you look for, and you know, um, like just looking at him like week in and week out, like he always doing some amazing. It's just like shows how good he is with the, uh, how good he is at the game. I was watching him against the Jags on Sunday night, and I was just, I, I couldn't, you know, we, we had this MVP talk, and we're not going to get into it, but I was like, if you look at one play, and you've had him, CMC's had him, Brock's had him, Tyreek's had him, everybody, but those plays that he had against Jacksonville, I'm like, that is, who, wh wh what is it, what is yeah, even that, happening? That one play that he was just, that one play that he was just scrambling around, I'm just like, that's something, like, people say I do stuff that, like, you can't coach. Like, that's something, like, you cannot coach or teach. Like, that's just, like, awareness and, like, just just God-given talent to be out there on the field. You think this is a Super Bowl preview we're about to watch? Um, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> we just have to go out there and see. We have somebody, if you'll allow, I think somebody wants to come and say hi and dap you up for a second. Hey, Shady, you here? I can't oh, hear you, bro. Muted. Shady, wake up. You're, you're muted. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debo, what's up, man? Bro, answer the phone when I call you, bro. Hey, look. He called me at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm sleeping. No, Don't I Don't worry about it. Look, and when we I... play y'all boys, I need my revenge. Yeah, we betting that thing back. Yeah. All right, Kay, you enjoy Shady today. Oh, <laughs> No, I thought Shady was going to play nice because Shady, uh, you love Brock Purdy. I like Brock Purdy, though. Brock Purdy's a good quarterback. I like Brock Purdy. See, yeah. see Shady, a little, Shady a little different like type of person when he in person and then when he on TV. Like, you never know. So, like, ah. Uh... That's, that's why they call it TV. You feel me? <laughs> no, nah, I've been giving y'all a lot of love. Y'all the best team in football right now. But right now, y'all the best team. Debo, his Eagles lost last night. Now's your chance. Let him have it. Nah. We just, we just oh, keep he being humble right now. See? <laughs> and first, he's not like that. 
I just pick up hey, the phone. Hey, in person, too. he's not like that in person, Kay. Hey, just pick up the phone when I call you sometimes, bro. Like, why didn't you answer the phone, LaShawn? He wasn't. No, no, I just, I just seen it. I'm gonna hit him up. That's my guy. I'm hit him up. My <laughs> one thing I, one thing I like about Debo, Debo got that old school when I like I was playing. Like, I say what I mean. I'm not taking it back. And then we get in that field. I'm gonna show you too. I like that. Nobody backs it up like Debo does. I'll say this, Debo, this morning, my entire production staff is losing their minds because they have not heard from LaShawn. They cannot find LaShawn. LaShawn is supposed to... And I go, Down we, we have to... We go, LaShawn will be here. He's got an hour. He's not... LaShawn's not... That's LaShawn's not what they sleep. said. They was actually talking junk, bro. They was like, yeah, he want to sleep. He's sleeping. Like, he's not getting up. They was really talking to about you, bro. Debo! <laughs> wow, wow. Kay, Kay trust me. She know better than that. Yeah. All right, y'all. I know he'd be sleeping. Um, he. Just, all right, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Shady Debo. We'll let you go. We'll talk to you after you beat the Ravens. Hey, everybody! Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe right here. Do it now for the latest from Up and Adam.